Hiya folks, Phil here. How are we all doing? Hope you're doing very well. It's time for a tobacco review. Uh, been doing a lot of these lately with the, uh, the series with me and me buddies, Mark and Kaz and Chris. If you haven't caught any of them, they're a bit more chat come impression sort of thing. But today, today, before I finish it, I uh, messed up recently. I had another tobacco, uh, Bill Bailey's Bulk and Blend, and I um, finished the whole tin, forgot to review it. Next time I smoke it, I'll review it. But it was really good. <laughs> but today we've got this one here, John Cotton's Double Pressed Pipe Tobacco Burley. Beautiful label. Classic. Love it. I think this is a recent release. And it came as one of those stupid crumble cakes. Yep, I've said it. Stupid crumble cakes. I can't see the point of these things, but it's been pressed and broken up and then pressed again, I guess. I don't know. If you're going to make a plug, make a plug. <laughs> but I'm down to the dregs here, and it is basically, might as well be ready rubbed, very dark brown, classic, wholesome, burly scent, you know, woodsy, earthy, bit of molasses, bit of cocoa, you know the drill, it's burly, of course being burly, it did did attract my attention. I've never had any of these John Cotton's double pressed. It was, uh, I got it obviously from the States. I don't think you can get it over here. It was um, for an American tobacco, quite expensive, quite expensive. So it had better meet the expectations. Um, that's pretty much it on that one. This is the first John Cottons I've ever had. This review will be fairly quick, to be honest. Yeah, I can taste Virginia in it. Slightly brighter. Obviously, the molasses and the classic burly flavors. Kind of the same flavors, though, that I would get in any other burly, even some of the cheaper burlies. There's nothing like, you know, I mean, I've smoked the whole tin. There's nothing that really wowed me here. Nothing that made me think I need to get more. But it was pleasant, don't get me wrong. I've described Burley so many times, uh, I'm kind of struggling to describe it again. Without saying nuts, earth, wood, cocoa. Molasses and a bit of bright. I actually think this blend could have done with maybe more Virginia. It's not really topped. It might be cased with sugar. Burly often is. Excuse the low flying aircraft. <laughs> Very dry. I've left it in the tin. I haven't even jarred it, but we just sort of smoked it most days. You know, so, oh, have a bowl of that. Have a bowl of that. Much better. Nice and smoky. It's not going to offend anyone. But I don't think it's going to wow anyone either. 
Burley, okay, it's not a wow tobacco. Usually. Usually a wow when you've put some other tobacco in there that accentuates it, you know. And a lot of guys complain a taste of cardboard and taste of nothing. And if this is the only burley they've tried, then I can kind of see where they're coming from. For instance, you can go to Four Noggins and buy this John Patton Stormfront, which is a great semi-sweet burley with some bit of cigar leaf in there, and that just zings it up and makes it great. And it's, you know, three or four dollars an ounce. Well, this I'm pretty sure was fifteen dollars. That's from Sutliff. And they do a lot of burlies, and they do some some good ones, I think. Awesome. I don't know why I was going to like that again. Um, and the problem with the crumble cakes is the consistency. You know, little dots and dust particles. And... This doesn't taste any better. In fact, it's not as good as that Stormfront. It's probably not as good as Carter Hall, even. You know, it's just it's just an average burly, and for the price tag, that annoys me. That annoys me. So this isn't a positive review. <laughs> As I say, you won't be offended by it, but you won't be wowed by it, and you should be wowed by it for the price they want. The only wow factor is the tin art, which I think is beautiful. I do think. I've tried it in Briar, I've tried it in Meersham, I've tried it with filter, without filter. And it's just an average burly. And I'm leaving it at average burly. So of course, on a five point scale, this gets a, a firm two and a half, two and a half. Should be a three, but as I say, the price makes it, you know, lowers its esteem. The quality should be in proportion to the price, I think. Or maybe I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, two and a half out of five, so distinctly average. Get yourself some Salani Age Burley Flake. Get yourself some Wessex Burley Slice and figure out what Burley's all about. Or go ahead and get Nashville County or Director's Cut or something else. that, Or one of the Cornell and Deal Burley Flake number three. If you really want to know what this stuff is all about. This, there are better at better prices. And that's all I've got to say about that one. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. You lot take care and I'll catch you on Pith Helmet Matinees and I'll catch you on our little series that I've done, been doing with the guys with the uh, all these Watch City blends we've got to get through. You lot take care. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Ciao.